Hey guys, it's me Fenella. So this video is going to be a get ready with me. I am in no way good at making all of these makeup looks so I won't be teaching you because I know that there will be some makeup artists watching this video and they will be screaming on their screens because I'm doing everything wrong but hey, whatever works, right? And for this video, I'm going to answer some questions from my friends regarding beauty standards, makeup for beginners of course insecurities and things related to that so let's start first i have a question from my friend zero which is actually my minzy from my 21 cover group for everyone i really miss you guys anyway her question is about how to do two-toned lips or i guess this is also a gradient lip see i don't know the terminologies i just do them and why is it big deal when people or girls wear out of the common shades of lipstick face balm i do my two don't lips first i will put lip balm or moisturizer because my lips are very dry and then i'll just put lipstick um i never knew how to use lip tint correctly so i never used them and then i'll just blend it away with my finger um, you will see in this video that I always use my fingers to blend things. I don't know, I just think I have more control when I do that. And for her second question, I don't know. Um, Filipinos are... I don't know the right term. It's like they're very bana when they see different things or unique things, unusual things that people do and including yeah, as simple or as little as lipstick will make people bana. I think people still think that people do makeup just to look beautiful but sometimes I just want to look snobby or I just want to look as dead as my soul inside like that so yeah do whatever you want because people will still judge <laughs> next question is from Michelle David, Gail David and she asked me or she told me that she would like to hear my opinion about plastic surgeries and what do I think about them okay so for me, I think moderation is good, but of course, as to anything, too much is bad. If a person wants to do plastic surgery, it's okay with me. Um, example, I, I obviously I don't have a good nose. I don't have a nose bridge, and I've been thinking about doing plastic surgeries, but I don't want to do it like very drastically. So I'll, I just want to improve, improve progress. Why not? If 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 you'll feel more confident about it, why not, right? But for me, it's just wrong when it's like some people get addicted to it, like the real dolls, living dolls. If you know the Ken, the real Barbie, who are actually distorting their face already, that's a no no for me. And if people do plastic surgeries, I think it's better if they will still look like themselves it's just that they'll improve some features that they don't like example some koreans do double eyelids um i don't care i think if they want to do that then they should um one thing that i want to add about my opinion for plastic surgeries is that i don't like it when people deny it if they had the guts to um do plastic surgeries they should be honest about it because why deny it's like people know people know that you did it that's why they're asking they just want to confirm it why would you deny it so yeah it's okay as long as it's not too much and just improve just modify not change yourself <laughs> the way you look and be honest about it you may help other people who are considering plastic surgeries but are too scared right so yeah next is from shin manalang landico dicho sorry oh my god i'm such a fake friend i don't know how to properly pronounce her surname but i really love you um yeah <laughs> um he has his own youtube channel by the way he does makeup beauty vlogs so i will link his channel anyway his question is what do you think is the main rule of makeup so i only follow one main rule of makeup and that is do whatever you want um, do whatever makes you confident. Do it for yourself and not for others. Oh, sounds so cheesy, but yeah. Because as I've said with Zero's question, people will judge anyways. If you don't wear makeup and you think you look ugly or they think you look ugly, they will tell you or they will talk about it. 
If you wear makeup and they think, oh, it's too much, they will talk about it. If you wear makeup and you think it's beautiful, but then they see like, oh, she's wearing makeup now, but before she's not, they will talk about it. So do whatever, what makes you happy. Yeah. And the next question is from my sister. Um, she asked, what can you say about makeup shaming? Uh, yes, because... A lot of people are saying, or a lot of girls are actually saying that if you are really beautiful, you don't have to wear makeup. Or they're saying that people who wear makeup are not beautiful, only people who can rock out a very naked face are beautiful. There's, I only have one word for those people and I can't say this because it's a bad word. <laughs> I think it's stupid, makeup shaming is stupid because I see a lot of people who are pretty even without makeup but they still choose to have makeup because hello it's it's a way of expression and um just think about it let's say a person is really uncomfortable or unconfident with their face and they just feel confident to go outside if they wear just a bit of makeup or full makeup finding confidence is not easy and if they find confidence wearing makeup and then you will say that or you will shame them from wearing those how dare you, right? Let's just allow people to do whatever makes them happy and express. Let them express themselves. My next question is from my cousin and she asks is how to apply blush according to your face and shape, how to contour different face shapes. Okay, so I think this question is for advanced makeup artists, doers, wearers, I don't know. But I'll just tell you how I do mine. Before, I want to follow the shape of my um, cheekbones. Do you call that cheekbones when you do the fish face thingy? And then the upper part, I'll do that. I'll put blush on that and then I will contour the lower part, the shadow part. Yes, and then I contour sides of my forehead. Um, nose bridge of course nose line for life and then some on my jaw lately I like putting blush on my nose and a little bit on my nose bridge and on the top of my cheekbones do you know that thing that they call drunk blush yeah, that's what I'm kind of into nowadays so and from Meg Pavia I guess from uh, from Instagram I'll just yeah refer to my last question I almost answered it sorry I didn't give you any professional tips because I am not <laughs> and that would be very hypocritical and yeah this is the final look for this get ready with me video I hope that you liked it and I hope that I answered your questions I had fun doing this so comment down below if you wanted me to continue and yeah I'll see you on my next video bye